And these ones are dropping. They're gonna feel off. What are the this is the final call for the men one of the beaches. I still hung on, I almost gave up. But you know I have faith and I came out here to just test my body to see where I'm at. Has been. Um I would say my train has not been who I wanted it to, but because I miss so much and came out here to run a level two free today. Um not running that long. I'm just grateful. First race back on my time is a nerve wracking. How was it today? I wasn't that much of nervous. I just wanted to um, control the race because I have a race that long, you know, the knees going to drop and they're going to feel off. But I just want to control that race and to work on that. Mm -hmm. No, that's why I came out of success because the past couple of months have been rough. Most days I wasn't able to do anything. So I was grateful I was here in spikes actually. I've been bouncing spikes and track shoes. So to come out here and get a, a clean race. You know, God is good, you know. People see us on the track all the time, you know, but what's come behind that, you know. And you know, every year for me, our championship. Um I don't know why World Championship sees how we seem very challenging for me. I've not changed anything. I'm not doing anything wrong, but it's like a test to see if I can do it or not. And this one has tested me a lot. It's just my last year as well. And I cried most morning. I drove my car for going home. I cried because I see that I'm working hard and I'm not getting the results I want. And I was on the verge to give up, honestly. But God speaks to me and say, Can I give up right now? Because I take it this far. And I don't see trials coming, honestly, I'm just going there. Not expecting the result. Just gonna go top three. Not looking at fast time or anything, just wanna make it to the World Championship and then take it from there. But as I said, I'm just here, not knowing why I'm here, but I'm here just to shake out to go to the trials. Is it the same Achilles injury um, that's bothering you or is it something new? Because I know it can be there such a so challenge. Much I yeah. Going on. The Hercules is still there. I picked up a shin splint. I picked up a knee injury, and it showed on my entire body where I could not even do nothing. So, if the Hercules was the only thing, I would just out here. I would out here limping, honestly, on the foot out here running. But I had different challenges where I would just monitoring them. Things would have been quickly, but it slowed me down a little bit. But I was not denied. I'm training now and I would say I wouldn't say I am late to have more time because I said I just want to go through the round safely just to qualify. But I'm in practice now, I'm I've not had the pain since the past couple of two weeks, so I'm pretty grateful. Honestly, I'm grateful. You have experience so I'm not used to this, you know, I'm always able to make this, but not this, where I'm not competing. And I'm nervous, honestly, I'm really nervous. But I am talking to myself. I know how to control those nerves. But it's all about to get my body and my mind work together. My body is ready, but I have to get the mind to coordinate. So, it's new to me right now. So, yeah, to us. 100 you know, meter 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 now. All 100 meter males, please afford to be started now. This is the final call. I know you guys came out. Thank you so much. We know that you can do it. And we have faith that we will do it. So, wishing you all the best. Um, just want to ensure that we get to be okay and sometimes I tell myself whatever comes my way I'm not gonna cry I'm not gonna stress but when I say it it happens you know like tears come where we're human and we cannot control because you want to do good you want to compete you want to go out there and show what you have everybody know what I'm capable of yeah. and I cannot do that it bothers me, you know, but even if I cannot train, I have some young men that I train with and I, I know I push them and I motivate them even though 
I'm not able to do what I want to do, but this is my testimony, my story. Everyone cannot have the same story to tell, so man will be a little bit different, so it is what it is. Yeah, it didn't bother me much because you know I, I always have niggas that I, I dealt with but the rumors are gonna come because when I'm not competing on a speaking league but honestly I don't like when you put rumors that it's not true and I've seen some articles which I don't really pay much attention off because they do what they do just to hear stuff and I'm not gonna tell anybody what I'm going through you know sometimes we hope I share, sometimes we don't share. And I would like to just take my time to, you know, come out here and to do what I have to do. If it doesn't work out what I want to do, then I can give a full story and a full statement of what I have overcome and what I've gone through. But, you know, I'm not a person who really do well on negativity. Um, whenever I think I'm gonna speak negatively, I replace that with positive talking. You know, like, Next week is my birthday when I'm 31, so I am growing and maturing, so As a the true younger lady that would make things mm -hmm. bother her. I don't think I'd let that bother me much anymore because, you know, few, I would say a few years from now, I'll be walking away, the younger girls and boys will be coming up, so I have to be like a motivation for them, an inspiration for them, so I have to tell them what I go through, so I can't let those stuff that they throw on the media bother me because it will make me yes, well, so me quick question um i know injuries can be so tough derail you mentally like you said do you uh, at any point in time think the sport doesn't love me as much as i love it i'm grateful because i'm a WWE olympic champion it's just that when you come on to a world championship i think whatever likes to fight with me and i'm fighting back because i'm a warrior and i will not think that i cannot get a world championship title that's I'm out here today because I know Game I can do seven. it and I will not let Queen you play my brain nine. that oh you can't do it but I know I can but Martin it will mess with you honestly but if you have the right so people the in your corner and, and days, stuff huh? like that and right you know you don't have to be you don't have to be a Christian to read the Bible to go to church or stuff like that and you know it has led me to draw to Christ more and more you know not because I am hurting but because of what he's telling me to do and I think I would follow in his uh, yeah. Yeah, there's only thing you need to have good friends out there. As Wheeler pointed out, there are fans on social media inquiring, right. asking about the name. Uh, to you, the persons out there who would have kept on supporting you, not believing in the conjecture, what do you want to say to them? Honestly, I must say I'm really grateful for you guys um, for the love and the support. I know you guys want to see me, you want to hear what is going on. But I was just working on me, and I know you guys would hear the right time or will see me the right time. And nothing is too late, you know, everything do happen for a reason. And I'm not going to fight what I'm going through. I'm just going to take my time to work because the work never stops. Even if the season doesn't go, oh, I want to, I'm not speaking to the hair, but I'm just saying, if it doesn't go as how I want it to, you know, next year's Olympic season, I will definitely work towards that. And, you know, I'm a late bloomer. I wasn't that running like from, I was, I would say, from 20, winning everything. So. Sometimes your body do need time to heal and if it what he's telling me to do I will definitely take a break, take a season and to work on myself. And if I know I can do it, which I'm here today working on me and I you know just wanna continue to just build my mind frame, get my body and my mind ready for the next I would say less than two weeks yeah. for child. I just come out here and just do what I gotta do. Love you guys, thank you, love. Thank my final voice. question to you. Eleven two three, what was the objective coming out? Because the objectives are always so different. No I know it wasn't the time. Execution? I wasn't expecting any time. I was okay. saying to myself, I haven't raised this long. At the end your knees are gonna drop. So just keep the knees. And I feel them dropping, but I was just trying to hold on. But level two three is not bad for me, which it's not. I would say I told my sister very hard last year after come on well to probably run a little one race but I'm just grateful that I could actually get a level two. I, if yes. I get a bit lower, a level second down. I'm still grateful. Yeah, man. All the best. It is a good first. A good first. It is a good blow. Yeah. Yeah. Can I get all of them? All right, so people on the live, oh, the other live. yes, I'm on the live. Let me turn it to you because they're sending so much comments, so you can't take it as oh. today. Hi, guys, everybody, I'm here. Love you all. Thank you guys for the love and the support. And moi, I love you guys.